So today I'm talking about a P0610 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. So what is a P0610 code? Well, it's a control module vehicle options error. And so what does this mean? Well, basically modern vehicles can have many computers built into them. They can have a transmission control module that controls the transmission. They can have an ABS module that controls the anti-lock brakes. And there's also going to be a main computer, which can go by different names. It could be called a powertrain control module, an engine control module, an engine control unit. But whatever name it has, it's the main computer that's controlling everything. It's talking to the other computers and things like this. And for some reason, when it does its self-diagnostics during startup, it's seeing that the vehicle options aren't matching. So for example, like the wrong VIN number, or say the vehicle has a manual transmission, but the computer options have a program for an automatic transmission or something along those lines. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0610 code? Well, the first thing to do whenever you have any kind of computer related issues is always go and check the battery and be sure that's good, that all the connections are good and things like this, because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply or that could throw them off and just cause them to do weird things. So while this code is pointing towards vehicle options, it's always a good idea to be sure that the battery's good. The battery terminals all look like they're good and possibly even check the alternator output and be sure it's charging correctly, because if there is some kind of issue with the power supply, then that can cause problems. The next thing that causes that there's some kind of wiring problem or possibly a blown fuse or something like that. Basically, if there's any kind of open, short, there's like a bad connection, anything like this, that's gonna cause problems. Yeah, basically what's going on with this wiring is that there's gonna be different computer control modules that have different functions and they're gonna be controlling different things. So you can have like a transmission control module that's controlling the transmission. You can have a body control module that's controlling all the functions in the body, like the alarms, the windows, things like that. And then you can also have an engine control module or powertrain control module, and that's controlling the engine functions. There's also what's called the CAN bus. There can be different types of buses, but what's called the CAN bus is very common. And basically all the CAN bus is, is it's all the wires that's running around all the different control modules, along with right where they plug in and communicate with each other. You could kind of think of the CAN bus like ethernet in the home, where the wiring might be running to a router and then to different computers and things like that. That's all the CAN bus is. And so there might be an issue going on with the CAN bus, which is basically like an open, a short, a bad connection, something like that. It's also a good idea to go and check for any blown fuses. Basically anything labeled like ECM, PCM, ECU, any computer related fuse, it's a good idea to go check those and be sure those are good. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. The next thing that could cause this is that that main computer's gone bad or it needs to be reprogrammed. There's some different ways to go about testing to see if that computer has failed or if it just needs to be reprogrammed. One thing to mention with these is that sometimes when they go bad, not all the time, but sometimes they get burnt components on the board. So if you go up around it, you could smell like a burnt smell or something like that. These computers can fail and there's no burnt components on them. But if you do smell a burnt smell up around one of those computers, then that could be a sign that it has gone bad. It's also possible that the computer just needs to be reprogrammed and have the correct options be set up inside of the computer. There's going to be different ways to go about doing this. Usually you need a good scan tool to go about doing this. There's also computer programs that could go about doing this for a laptop and things like that. These are the more expensive scan tools and software. So if you do need to reprogram that computer, you likely are going to have to get a hold of a good shop or something like that to be able to do it. Again, though, this can vary. So be sure to do some research on your particular vehicle, on the computers that it has to know for sure what's going on. But the last things on the list is going to be that either that computer's gone bad or it needs to be reprogrammed. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0610 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.